Hey guys, Eclipse14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend. Alright, so we've cleared the third world, and we're up to cover some more of the tower. Before I do anything, though, there's some items I gotta drop from the inventory. Uh, well, from equipment, actually. Take out the lightsabers, that won't be necessary. Death and X Potion can both go as well. Likewise, Leon can... He still has silver armor. Dragon armor's in the first town, I can just grab that. Regardless, I'll give him fire because he has ice and thunder as abilities. Return his P-knife for that slot. And apart from changing that to dragon armor, Vivi's fine. So I'm gonna head for this town here. And just head back to the shop and better up uh, Leon and Vivi because dragon armor is pretty good. In which case, buy myself dragon armor. Two of them. And let's go ahead and get those things equipped on them. Okay, so I'll just grab this one. Leon can grab this one. And there we go. Sell the silver, because I don't need it. And there we go. Alright, we should be all set for this run. And, well, here we go. So all I need to do now is simply head for the tower and get to the door. Now, I've already broken the seal, so if you haven't done so already, you'll need to do so with the sphere. And four mana cores start this off. Uh, this shouldn't be too hard. I'll run thunder and ice. That should get rid of them. And sure enough, it does. Alright, so I got my hands on a mana core. 1600 gold is pretty good. Alright, I'll just go over here. And up the stairs and into the door. This room is empty. So just go on ahead. And I have a lone anaconda to face. Well, this one won't need a thunder or ice spell. So I'll just use the stair attacks here. And that went down fast. Through here, the only thing of note here is a heal pool that I will go to right there, and another anaconda. Fortunately, just one, so same stuff. And that's a wrap there. Go ahead and touch the heal pool, which works out. And that's really about it. I'll just, uh, go down the stairs. Same stuff, it's a single anaconda. I mean, you saw how low health they had. Imagine trying to poison it didn't work. Loser. Anyway, head left as right's a dead end. And go straight up the stairs, and you'll encounter this door to 12F. This is another empty room. Now in here, there's an interesting little room that can also be a significant annoyance. All you need to do is go inside, and welcome to the area of the clouds, where there's three treasure chests, where if you touch certain tiles, you'll end up flying all over the place. So, the easiest way to get through this, because I've actually had to do this quite a couple times, as the monsters here are pretty dangerous. That navigating sucks. So follow my lead and you'll get through this as quickly as possible. You don't want to be here for too long anyway. The first thing you want to do is head left enough until you reach a crack in the clouds, which takes 14 spaces to the left. In which case, just head on over here. And slowly, this is where you want to be. Now go south. And there's your first chest. I have three harpies to fight here. Just, uh, thunder and ice here. So, yeah, I said I did this a couple times. This is because the way this game works is so stupid. Um, uh, for the most part, unless you get lucky, the very same thing happens every single time. Every space... Well, number of spaces you get for an encounter happens. Each opponent does 
Eric's exact attack for X damage, or if it misses or not. Same thing for your characters, too. So, I ended up running through this floor a dozen times, because I kept getting my ass kicked from the enemies. Also, this final treasure is a pain in the ass as well. But anyway, when you're done there, I personally have a one-step encounter with this train crash. Which is the reason that was so troubling. Use a revenge, battle sword, thunder the hunters, and ice the hunters. For me, it's just clockwork. Bash for 156 damage, and the revenge sword kills it with 312. Ease cover that right side, because it's crazy. And these beams hit for nuclear damage, but won't kill anybody. It gets close with Leon, though. I get one kill, and look at that. Look at all those stats. This is the same thing that's happened for the last eight takes. Yeah, I've had to run this floor a shitload. Fuck this game. And it's, a uh, fixed... It's technical RNG, but really, it's fixed. Anyway, these guys are wounded enough that I can just use the standard attacks, and I'll be good. Death Beam does nothing, they also do a Saw that will do nothing. See? And... Nuked. This game sucks! Because of that. Anyway, I can now use my X-Potions, in which case, let's heal up Leon... And Zero, use the other one to capitalize on just about everybody. BB caps out, and I may as well give a cure to Zero, just to make sure he's in good shape. Everybody else, eh, it's okay. Anyway, come down here, and you'll get your hands on an elixir, which is cool. Now you'll want to move five steps to the south. One, two... Note that wind burst. That was not me. Uh, that's what happens in this floor. Some tiles you just end up flying. But that's your second step. Three, four, five. Now head right. You'll end up right in front of this chest without any gales whatsoever. This is just a standard potion. I think I can just use it. Yeah, I can just give it to, uh... My mutants, and they'll be fine. Alright, now you want to do a step north, which will take you into the wind. It'll fly you this way, I have four ogres to face, in which case, use a revenge, battle sword, thunder, and ice. Punch for 72, counters for 144, punch for the same damage, punch for 78, which hits for 156, and it all goes through with that. Now, it seems like I wasted Thunder here, but I tried to attack with a P-Knife in a different take, only for it to miss. So, let's not have that happen. And I'll be fine just sitting right there. You can actually pause while you're gliding around, too, so don't worry about it too much. Uh... Oh, I wanted to cure. Just cure you... Make it twice, for good measure. And... Cure Vivi, who is now over 300 HP. Wow. Anyway... One, two, three. There's the next chest. Now I should note, go any farther than this, you'll end up being taken to the north by wind. Unless you press and hold right all the way to the chest. So do that, and it'll automatically get you the Vampic Sword which is mana-based and will drain HP, so it works with my mutants. You'll fly up north, and now we can get the hell out of here. Not before I face three harpies and a dragon, too. Alright, I'll do a revenge again. Battle sword on the dragon, too. And I'm pretty sure Leon can cover this with thunder, and BB can cover the harpies as well with ice. So that's the quickest way to actually deal with this floor. There's only three chests, so don't worry about it. It's just, these enemies are dangerous. I get hit with confusion, but I don't think that'll make a difference. I've been running this damn floor like clockwork. 
That's not a good thing to say. Run that. And I have just a couple spaces left to go, in which case, I will just do another cure to make sure that he is good. And four more ogres. Alright, revenge. Same stuff. I'm just hoping this doesn't get too terrible. Got it. And... Zero's still alive by a miracle. Alright, uh, continue using Cure with that 62 mana. And actually I can use it on... Uh, no, I think he'll be fine until I get back to the guild bowl. How much time? 11 minutes. Yeah, this, this room sucks. As I had to train that significantly. I'm actually gonna have to walk back down for the first time ever, because I simply need to get myself back together. Because that floor really was just such a pain in the ass, and I'm finally through it after... Like... I think this is my 11th take in this whole area, which is a disaster to mention, but such is how it is. Alright, it's just one anaconda, so I can't fight here. The room really is just a total pain in the ass. But at least I'm out of it now. I can roll on ahead without that much of a problem anymore, hopefully. Floor is just fucking brutal. What am I doing? P knife. Tana. There we go. Alright, moving on up ahead. One more anaconda. Good lord. Oh yeah, that does remind me I am running out of weaponry. So I think it would be best for me to just return back anyway. This way I can get some uh, weapons to get through the floors. So yeah, I'll fight a couple anacondas, but I do need to get back. I just realized it. But the good news is I got through one of the more annoying floors of the whole game. So, yes, unfortunately I do have to go down floors until I reach Skytown again. Honestly, this is for the best. The worms are a joke. So I'll break it. And there we go. Alright, so I guess I'll spend this next little bit of time just grabbing new items for... Everybody. Can you get out of the way? Thank you. Which case, I'll get myself another katana, and likewise for Vaughn, I'll get them on the equipment. For now, I'll just leave it as is, on zero. On the other hand, you're taking a katana. Leon's okay for now, and same for Vivi. That Vampic Sword's pretty good, though. Actually, um... I know. I can give him the lightsaber because I think the lightsaber's agility-based. Not that it matters, it's 49-41 strength anyway. At least he can use that. Zero, I can just throw this other katana up. And that'll be fine. Actually, I can... do this. 
Let's run it like so. Get all this other equipment. There, I can do that. And there we go. And I'm gonna wrap this up with some more strengths. Oh, I can only get two items? Oh, crap. At least give one to each for these guys. I'm likewise going to buy two agilities. And finally, two HP 400s. Yes, it costs a bit, but you know what? 256? Are you kidding me? Alright. Two more for good measure. Okay, that's a little better. Shit. 275 and 236. Alright, that works for me. And that's pretty much a wrap here. Kinda sucks I had to go down a floor, but yeah, that one room was just so freaking annoying. And with that, I will uh, walk out of the town again, and we will make a more proper run up the tower next episode. Right back where I started. Oh well, at least I got two floors done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.